Hi, this is Ashok here. I'm a trainer for CFA and you are watching Phoenix uh, training YouTube channel where I make content pertaining to uh, CFA and investment banking topics. This is a sum from CFA level 1 equity uh, dividend discount model. Dividend discount model from here uh, multi-stage growth uh, kind of sum. That's what we are going to do now. See this. Consider your stock with dividends that are expected to grow at 15% per year. So dividend expected to grow at 15% per year for two years. So first two years after which they are expected to grow at 5% per year indefinitely. Okay, so different growth rates are given here first two years 15% after that 5% indefinitely. Okay, so when you hear this term indefinitely constant sustainable growth rate, then we should think about Gordon growth model. The last dividend paid was $1 and cost of equity is 11% uh, calculate the value of the stock using multi-stage growth model. So multi-stage growth model. So let's see this. So this is three years. Okay, because this is two years. Okay, two years and then third year onwards it is constant. Okay, so. 0 uh, 1 2 so first year it is so recently paid dividend is one dollar one dollar so which is growing at the rate of 15 percentage so plus 15 percentage comes to 1.15 this is the cash flow 1.15 and then further again it is growing at the rate of 15 percentage so 1.15 plus 15 percentage comes to 1.3225 1.3225 okay so this is the cash flow now from from here on uh, sustainable growth is happening indefinitely that means constant growth rate which is 5 percentage so i can apply uh, Gordon growth model from here itself. Now Gordon growth model says P0 is equal to D1 divided by R minus G. Okay, D1 is expected dividend divided by required rate of return minus constant growth. And P is the previous year's price and D1 is the next year's uh, dividend. So if this is dividend, next year's dividend divided by R is 10, 11 percentage required rate cost of equity minus growth rate is 5 percentage so it is 1.3225 divided by 6 percentage so 1.3225 1.3225 divided by 6 percentage comes to 22 so 22 this will give me the price for the previous year that's why it is written p0 so here the price should be 22 so the total cash flow here it should be 23.15 which i will again discount it at the rate of um, now from here yeah this i will discount it at the rate of 11 percentage cost of equity for one year so this comes to 23.15 divided by 1.11 20.85 so 20.85 is the present value of the stock now Alright, thank you.